evolve your game and get a $100 bonus. Sign up now at TVG.com. You're watching America's Horse Racing Network TVG on site in Louisville, Kentucky at Churchill Downs. It's Kentucky Oaks Day, and then the great American race is tomorrow, the Kentucky Derby. Joining us right now is the winning rider from race number one, Rosie Napravnik, who will also ride our heavy favorite later on in the Kentucky Oaks, Untappable. Rosie, was this the first request by the media for an interview? <laughs> So far today. Yeah, Actually, so. no, no. They already got me in the winter circle. You're second, so you're not as good as you think you are. So <laughs> how do you handle all the all the pressure and the demands of Derby Week? Are you able to enjoy yourself and stay focused on everything? I'm much better at it now than I was three years ago, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> looking at race number one, before we talk about Untappable later, everybody wants to know how's the track playing. It looked like it was pretty quick out there. What was your observation on the main track? Yeah, the track's tight. It's pretty fast, so um, and we should have a fast track all day. And what do you do in the room, Rosie, between now and the Oaks? You've got a few uh, few races off. What do you do back Media. there? Media. Me? They bug me all day. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, actually, you know, I got a, a lot of replays still to watch right. for the Oaks. There's a lot of studying to do and um, just kind of taking advantage of a big break, a rest, and uh, then, you know, we got a bunch of stakes later on. So I'm really looking forward to it. All right, let's talk about the Oaks and Untappable. Outside post, post 13, is probably a question you've answered all week. How does that affect your trip and how are you going to ride the race? Well, um, you know, she's very tactical, so, I mean, I can really play the race by ear. I mean, Steve said, you know, let's not let's not plan on being somewhere. Let's just be where we're going to be at, and um, she's she's versatile. She's been behind horses. She's been inside. She's been outside. She's stalked. She's laid a little bit further back. She's done everything. She can do anything. She's, she, you know, she's sharp. She's ready to go. She's been training unbelievable. I've seen her every morning. Worked her a couple weeks ago, and Steve's just done such a great job with her. What's been the difference? She's really improved from two to three. Has it just been maturity and development, you think? I think so. I mean, her transformation from two to three has really been impressive. Uh, just physically, uh, in her races, overall, she's been, you know, you couldn't ask for anything better going from two to three. Uh, we're looking at her Fairgrounds Oaks win, and as dominant as she was, is there more there? Does she have another performance to step up to? Honestly, I think absolutely. I think, you know, those two races, um, at the fairgrounds, she moved better. She moved forward off the first one. I think she's going to move forward off of this one. So uh, I'm looking forward to a good performance. 